let us pray. Father of mercies, your only Son hanging on the cross, gave us his Virgin Mother Mary to be our mother also. Under her loving care, may her children grow daily in holiness, so that all mankind may see in your Church the Mother of all nations. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. Today our responsorial psalm is taken from Luke and the response is, Blessed is the Virgin Mary who bore the Son of the Eternal Father. Blessed is the Virgin Mary, who bore the Son of the Eternal Father. My soul glorifies the Lord, my spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her nothingness, henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me, holy is his name. Blessed is the Virgin Mary, who bore the Son of the Eternal Father. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. Blessed is the Virgin Mary, who bore the Son of the Eternal Father. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. Blessed is the Virgin Mary, who bore the Son of the Eternal Father. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Blessed is the Virgin Mary, who bore the Son of the Eternal Father. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing beside her, he said to his mother, Woman, here is your son. Then he said to the disciple, Here is your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his own home. Let us pray. Father, you have shown your compassion and love by coming among us as a man when your word took flesh, born of the Virgin Mary and crucified for our salvation. As we thank you for your loving care for us, we pray that all those whom we now remember before you in this holy place may know your kindness and rejoice in your salvation we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. We make our own thanksgivings this morning for God's great goodness to us, those things which have helped us along our journey in faith. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we thank you for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all your children. Give us a sense of all your mercies, that our hearts may be grateful and our whole lives give you praise. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. For the sick, Father, your Son, Jesus Christ, brought healing in body and soul to those who turn to him in faith. Hear our prayers for all the sick, 
Restore them to health and strength. Comfort them with the presence of your Holy Spirit and lead them to know and to do your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. For those in need, Father Almighty, have pity on those who have asked for our prayers as we bring them to this holy place. Send them from your sanctuary the gift of your consolation and by your power and grace assist all those in spiritual and material need. Aided by the prayers of Our Lady, we have confidence in your loving kindness and we make these prayers through her Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. For the departed, Lord God, you are the fountain of mercy and wish all to be saved. Have mercy on all the departed whom we remember here. Through the intercession of Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, and of all your saints, grant that they may triumph over death and live for ever before you, their Creator and Redeemer. We ask our prayer through our risen Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We pray for our parish here in Small Heath and for the communities in which we live ourselves. Father in Nazareth, your son shared the life of a human family and lived among your people. We remember those among whom we live, pray and work. May your church be a sign of salvation in the world and our lives bring the presence of Christ to those around us. We ask this through Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. Let us ask Our Lady to join her prayers with those we have offered in this holy place, as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. And so the prayer of Our Lady of Walsingham. O Mary, recall the solemn moment when Jesus your divine Son, dying on the cross, confided us to your maternal care. You are our mother. We desire ever to remain your devout children. Let us, therefore, feel the effects of your powerful intercession with Jesus Christ. Make your name again glorious in this place and once renowned throughout our land by your visits, favours and many miracles. Pray, O Holy Mother of God, for the conversion of England, restoration of the sick, consolation for the afflicted, repentance of sinners, peace to the departed. O Blessed Mary, Mother of God, Our Lady of Walsingham, intercede for us. Amen. 